The Galactic Council recoiled in disgust and horror as the footage of the human engineer's grotesque leg wound was broadcast on the large screen, blood and bones exposed, sending the alien delegates into a panicked frenzy. The Council demanded to know why a human would have such a disturbing body part hidden inside them. Captain James Maverick Mitchell shifted uneasily before the semicircle of alien representatives. The Zorgian leader Krolax glared at him, tentacles twitching impatiently. Maverick realized the fate of future human-alien relations, trade and military alliances, hinged on how he explained human anatomy to these shocked extraterrestrials. The tension was palpable. He had to convince them humans weren't hiding other ghastly secrets beneath their skin, or humanity would be labelled as repulsive monsters and shunned by the galactic community. Maverick took a deep breath. The future of his species depended on his next words. Maverick blinked, confusion etched across his face. He had been mentally preparing his defence, but the Council's reaction didn't make any sense. I'm sorry. I don't understand. What exactly about the footage is causing such concern? Krolax's eyes narrowed, his tentacles twitching in agitation. You dare play ignorant human? Very well. Let us review the evidence. He tapped a button on the console before him, and a holographic recording sprung to life in the center of the room. The video showed a human, who Maverick recognized as Jack Daniels, one of the engineers on the joint human Creelic construction project. Jack was guiding a large cargo container into place, when suddenly the straps holding it snapped. The container fell, landing directly on Jack's leg with a sickening crunch. Maverick winced, knowing the pain that must have caused the Creelix in the video rushed to help, using their advanced technology to lift the heavy container off of Jack, but as they did, they suddenly recoiled, backing away with expressions of pure horror. The camera zoomed in, showing the reason for their reaction. Jack's leg was badly damaged, blood pooling on the ground, but what truly horrified the Creelix was the jagged white bone protruding from the torn flesh. As the recording ended, the council chamber erupted in agitated chatter. Maverick could pick out words like disgusting, monstrous, and deliberately deceptive. Krolak silenced the room with a sharp gesture. He turned back to Maverick, eyes hard. Explain this, human. Why have you hidden the existence of these, these internal skeletal structures from us? Realization dawned on Maverick. The Creelix, like many insectoid species, had exoskeletons, the concept of bones inside the body must be completely foreign and disturbing to them. It's not like that, Maverick began, raising his hands in a placating gesture. We weren't trying to hide anything, it's just all humans have skeletons. It's a normal part of our biology. This was clearly the wrong thing to say. The council members reacted with shock and revulsion. All of you have these things inside you, one demanded deliberately concealed under your skin. No, no, it's not a secret, Maverick tried to explain. It's common knowledge among humans. We thought other species knew. I mean, surely you've seen our medical scans. But they weren't listening. They spoke over each other, their voices rising in anger and disgust. Deception! Ghastly? Cannot be trusted? Maverick felt his frustration rising as the council descended into chaos. The accusations flew fast and furious, each one more ludicrous than the last. They've been hiding these these bones from us the whole time, one member shouted. Who knows what else they're concealing? We can't trust them, another chimed in. They should be banned from all future joint missions until we get to the bottom of this deception. Maverick slammed his fist on the podium, the sound echoing through the chamber. The council fell silent, all eyes turning to him. He took a deep breath, trying to rein in his anger. With all due respect, he began, his voice taut, this is not deception. Just because you were unaware of a basic facet of human biology does not mean we were actively hiding it. Krolax leaned forward, his eyes narrowed. Then explain it to us, human. Explain why you have these, these bones inside you. Maverick paused, considering his next move. Words didn't seem to be getting through to them. He needed to show them to make them understand. 
Counselors, he said, I request permission to demonstrate the true nature of the human skeletal system. A murmur ran through the council. They exchanged glances, some curious, others wary. Finally, Crolax nodded. Permission granted. Proceed. Maverick stepped out from behind the podium. He reached for the collar of his uniform, unfastening it. With a shrug of his shoulders, he removed his shirt entirely. A gasp ran through the council chamber. Maverick stood before them, his muscular torso on full display. Years of rigorous training had honed his body into a weapon, and it showed in every defined muscle. But that wasn't what he was here to demonstrate. Reaching into his pocket, Maverick pulled out a small handheld device. It was an X-ray scanner, standard issue for all Terran military personnel. He held the device up to his arm and activated it. A beam of light scanned across his skin, and a moment later, a holographic image sprung to life, projected onto the council chamber's main screen. It was an image of Maverick's arm, but not as the council had ever seen a human arm before. Beneath the layers of skin and muscle, a complex structure of bones was clearly visible. They ran the length of his arm, from shoulder to fingertips, an intricate network of interconnected pieces. The council stared in a mixture of fascination and horror. Some leaned forward, as if trying to get a closer look. Others recoiled, their faces twisted in revulsion. This, Maverick said, his voice ringing out in the silence, is the human skeletal system. It's not a secret or a deception. It's a fundamental part of our anatomy, just like your exoskeletons are a part of yours. He moved the scanner, running it across his chest. The hologram shifted, revealing the bones of his ribcage, his spine, the vertebrae stacking up to his neck. Every human has this, he continued. It's what gives our bodies structure and support. Without it, we would collapse. The council was silent, transfixed by the image. Maverick could see the gears turning in their minds as they tried to process this new information. Crolax was the first to speak, and this, this is normal for your species. It causes you no harm. Maverick shook his head. No, it's completely natural. In fact, it's essential for our survival. Our bones protect our vital organs, allow us to move and function. He deactivated the scanner and the hologram faded. The council chamber felt oddly empty without it, the silence stretching on. Maverick stood tall, his bare chest glistening under the council chamber's lights. He knew this was his chance to make them understand, to show them the truth about the human body. He took a deep breath and began to speak, his voice strong and clear. Esteemed members of the Galactic Council, he said, I know the sight of our internal skeletons may seem strange, even frightening to you, but I assure you, they are not a weakness or a deception. They are a source of strength, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. He began to pace, his hands gesturing as he spoke. Our bones are not just a structural support. They are a living, adaptable system. They grow with us, from infancy to adulthood, constantly reshaping themselves to meet the demands we place on them. Maverick paused, his eyes scanning the council. Some leaned forward, intrigued. Others, like Crolax, still looked skeptical. He pressed on. When we break a bone, it heals, becoming even stronger in the process. This adaptability has allowed us to survive and thrive in the harshest of environments, from the depths of our oceans to the vacuum of space. He tapped his chest right over his heart. Our ribcage, for example, protects our most vital organs. It can withstand tremendous force, absorbing impacts that would otherwise be fatal. Maverick could see some of the council members nodding, a glimmer of understanding in their eyes, but the Creelix, with their chitinous exoskeletons, still looked unconvinced. I know it may be hard for you to grasp, Maverick said, addressing them directly, but our bones are not a liability. They are an essential part of who we are, of what makes us human. He thought of Jack, of the pain he must have endured. Yes, they can break, yes, they can cause us pain, but they also allow us to endure, to persevere in the face of adversity. Maverick's voice rose, passion infusing every word. Our skeletons are a symbol of our strength, of our unyielding spirit. 
They have carried us to the stars and beyond, and they will continue to do so, no matter what challenges we face. He spread his arms wide, as if embracing the entire council. So I ask you not to fear our bones, but to understand them, to see them for what they truly are, a crucial part of the human experience and a testament to our resilience as a species. As Maverick finished, a hush fell over the chamber. For a moment, no one spoke. Then slowly, a few council members began to clap. Others joined in until the room was filled with applause. But not everyone was convinced. Krolak stood, his tentacles crossed. Pretty words, human, he said, but we need more than speeches. We need proof. Other Kreeliks nodded in agreement, their compound eyes fixed on Maverick. He met their gaze unflinching. What kind of proof? he asked, though he already had an idea. Krolax's mandibles twitched. Show us, he said. Show us how these bones of yours can withstand the rigors of space as you claim. Maverick's mind raced. He knew what he had to do, but it wouldn't be easy. It would require a demonstration of the strength and resilience of the human skeletal system, something tangible that the Council could not ignore. He squared his shoulders, ready to face whatever challenge the Council proposed. The fate of human-alien relations hung in the balance, and he would not let his species down. Very well, Maverick said, his voice steady. I will give you your proof. Maverick stood tall before the Council, his resolve unwavering in the face of their skepticism. He knew that words alone would not convince them of the strength and resilience of the human skeletal system. It was time for action. I propose a challenge, he declared, his voice ringing out in the chamber, a contest of strength and endurance between myself and your strongest warrior. Let us put these bones of mine to the test and see, once and for all, the true power of the human body. The council members exchanged glances, murmuring amongst themselves. Krolax's eyes narrowed, his tentacles twitching. And what would this challenge entail, human? Maverick met his gaze unflinching. A series of physical tests, weightlifting, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and an obstacle course designed to push us to our limits. Let the council witness firsthand the capabilities of the human skeletal system. There was a moment of tense silence as the council considered his proposal. Finally, Krolax nodded. Very well, human. We accept your challenge. But know this. If you fail, it will only confirm our suspicions about your species. Maverick's jaw tightened. I won't fail. The council chamber buzzed with activity as preparations were made for the challenge. The central arena, usually reserved for diplomatic discussions, was quickly transformed into a makeshift battleground. Weights were brought in, obstacles were set up, and a large screen was erected to display the action for all to see. Maverick stood at one end of the arena, stretching his muscles. He had discarded his shirt, his bare torso glistening under the bright lights. Across from him, the Kreelik warrior emerged, its chitinous exoskeleton gleaming. It was a formidable sight, standing nearly two heads taller than Maverick, its forearms rippling with strength. The first test was weightlifting. Massive metal plates were loaded onto a bar, the weight increasing with each round. Maverick and the Kreelik warrior took turns, each straining to lift the tremendous burden. As the weight increased, the Kreelik began to struggle. Its exoskeleton creaked and groaned under the pressure, its arms trembling with the effort. But Maverick, with the support of his skeletal system, powered through. His bones absorbed the stress, his muscles working in harmony to hoist the weight above his head. The council watched in amazement as Maverick outlasted the Kreelik, lifting weights that would have crushed a lesser being. The screen displayed the X-ray of his skeletal system, highlighting the incredible strength of his bones. Next came hand-to-hand -hand combat. Maverick and the Kreelik warrior circled each other, their stances low and ready. The Kreelik struck first, its forearms a blur of motion, but Maverick was quick, his reflexes honed by years of training. He dodged and weaved, his bones absorbing the impact of the blows that did connect. Maverick retaliated, striking with precision and power. His fists slammed into the Kreelik's exoskeleton, each impact reverberating through the arena. The Kreelik staggered back, 
its armor cracked and dented. The fight was brutal, both combatants giving it their all, but as the minutes ticked by it became clear that Maverick's endurance was superior. His skeletal system allowed him to keep going, even as the Kreelik began to tire. In a final desperate move, the Kreelik lunged at Maverick, seeking to grapple him to the ground. But Maverick was ready. He sidestepped the attack and delivered a devastating blow to the Kreelik's midsection. The Kreelik crumpled, its exoskeleton shattered. The Council gasped, some leaning forward in their seats. Never had they seen a human display such raw strength and skill. The final test was the obstacle course, a grueling gauntlet of physical challenges designed to test speed, agility and endurance. Maverick and the Kreelik warrior lined up at the start, both panting from their previous exertions. At the signal they were off racing through the course, they leaped over barriers, crawled under nets and scaled towering walls. The Kreelik with its four arms had an advantage on the climbing sections, but Maverick's bones, strong and light, allowed him to move with incredible speed and precision. They reached the final obstacle, a massive boulder that had to be lifted and carried to the finish line. The Kreelik warrior grasped the boulder, its exoskeleton straining. It managed to lift it a few inches off the ground before its armor began to crack, the pressure too much to bear. Maverick stepped up, gripping the boulder. He took a deep breath, channeling all his strength. His muscles bulged, his bones bearing the incredible weight. Slowly, steadily, he lifted the boulder, his skeletal system supporting him every step of the way. The Council watched in awe as Maverick carried the boulder across the finish line, his body pushed to the absolute limit. He dropped it to the ground with a resounding thud, his chest heaving. There was a moment of stunned silence, then the Council erupted in applause. Krolak stood, his expression one of begrudging respect. Human, he said, you have proven the strength and value of your skeletal system. We were wrong to doubt you. Maverick, exhausted but triumphant, nodded. I hope this demonstration has shown you the true nature of human anatomy. Our bones are not a weakness, but a source of great strength. Krolax bowed his head. Indeed, and for our ignorance and prejudice, I apologize on behalf of the Council. We will spread the word of what we have learned here today, so that all may know the truth about the human race. Maverick felt a surge of pride. He had done it. He had defended the honor of his species and shown the galaxy the remarkable power of the human skeletal system. As he made his way back to his ship, his body ached, but his spirit soared. He knew that this was only the beginning, that there would be more challenges to come. But he also knew that with the strength of his bones and the resilience of the human spirit, there was nothing they couldn't face. You have reached the end of the story. If you enjoyed this story and want to support us, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel, and for every comment that says 88, I will heart every single one of them. Thank you for your time.